I'm gonna take a relaxing trip to the circus. Oh, a magic show. Oh, well, at least they, uh, the lady doing it's pretty easy on the eyes. Well, let's take on Magic Man's stage. And I really do like this one. There isn't a whole lot to be too concerned about. It's tricky, just like most of Mega Man and Face, but that doesn't mean that it isn't fun. These romper enemies will not hurt you, they'll just squeeze your bolts out of you. The green ones take five shots to kill, and the red ones take two. And these train enemies are named Shiponpon. They're not really even enemies by the typical sense, because they're giving us a ride and kind of helping us out. We wouldn't even be able to get through this stage without them. You can be damaged by them if you touch the blue parts of their body, but don't be too worried about that. Just make sure to stand on their caps and you should be fine. The mono palins here are really pretty annoying, but as long as you keep them off screen with a couple bullets flying where they're going to be, you should be fine. Now, we just got a train to catch as Mega Man does a little jig. I'm not generally a big fan of this music, but I get what it's trying to do. It's trying to be atmospheric to the tone of the circus. I like that idea, just the music isn't that appealing to me. I get what it's going for, I'm just a big whiner. Now what we want to do is keep this monopellin off screen just far enough to plug him with a couple of shots so we don't have to worry too much about the spikes on the ceiling. Now that monopellin will jump a shot. And this is a tricky spot, never mind. Joe Classic, I am so sick of you. The enemies that are dressed up like little pirates are Kaizox. Kaizo being... Kaizoku being the Japanese word for pirate. Now, there's a monopellin up here that we want to be real careful. There, perfect. Now, this jump you want to do pretty close to how I do it. There you go. Now we're going to clear out the room of rompers real fast. Not just because I feel like murdering the innocent little soldiers, but... Well, I guess it's because I am murderous. I just wanted to make sure I got rid of that Kaizok soon enough. And, uh, that's it for new enemies. Shiponpon, you want to wait for that one to be hitting the edge there. Now slide down and wheel her in time or else that one might have run into us and crushed us against the wall. Sounds like we killed that one, but we didn't, so you want to be real cautious. Oh, eh, fiddlesticks. Never mind, we got Monopellin down. Another Kaizok coming this way. And obviously with these spikes, you want to be real careful to gauge when the fellas in the background are hitting the clock, so you know when to jump. And it's going to be mixed with a few monopellins, just to make sure that you're on your toes at all times. Whoop! Whoa! Too close, too close. Now you have to time your jumps absolutely perfectly. I shouldn't be talking when I should be jumping, but I suppose that's just part of the game. And we should be on to Magic Man now. Clear out all those rompers for no real good reason. There's a CD down there if you want to get it. Get it. But I don't. Now, Magic Man, we're going to gear up a charge shot, shoot it at that door, and not use it. Because Magic Man is actually a little easier to do only using the Buster pellets. Keep him close to you, shoot, jump his card, jump over, jump the card, jump, and if he does the energy attacks, you might get an extra shot. He'll do one, two, or three bolts. Don't shoot the bolts. Rompers will come out. But if you shoot him when he's too far away from you, he'll do his dove attack, which is very annoying. I don't think the doves have names. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes you can hit him after he does the bolts, but I don't particularly care for doing that because it does make things a little too exciting. Except like that. Sometimes... If you hit him in between the bolts too quickly, he won't even do another attack, and then he'll just start charging you and you get your timing all goofed. The magic card will steal health from you if it hits you, and hopefully it won't. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Wow, never mind, I guess it didn't. 
How do you like that? Magic Man, all done for, all accounted for. Whew. And we get one of the more unfortunate weapons in this game, but at least it's Wily's weakness. So, that's the plus. The Magic Card is generally just used to steal health. We murder a Metool to test that out. And a Telly. And just so you know, it also gains all your uh, little items. They like to drop it on the item demonstration. I don't know, I'm just muttering because I'm excited. Now that we've killed Magic Man, we have access to this crystal room. We don't need to go into it, though. There's all these rooms in Mega Man and base, but it doesn't really matter. We've already taken care of Magic Man, and that's all for today. Have a good one, I'll see you in the outtakes. And we encounter some mono palins flying around. <laughs> Never mind. Now, we've got kind of a coin flip as to whether we're gonna get through this one. This is CC roll. Whoop! Fuck. As we wait for the next Chapon font, there he is. We've got a train to catch. Ha ha ha. Alright, this is CC roll. He's uh, based on some lion statue and in, in hitting me. Magic Man, I don't know what happened to you, but I used to think you were pretty difficult. At the end of the day, I guess it's just because you were in Mega Man and base. But that's really not enough to make you a tough robot, just give you a nice little charismatic circus level. And I will admit, I let my nerves get the best of me before I went into Magic Band stage, and I did think it'd take me a nice, solid 24 tries before I was successful here. Well, with everything that was scaring me, Magic Man himself probably being the worst, it still only took me a whopping four attempts to beat Magic Man. Yeah, the lowest amount of takes was on a Mega Man and base robot. I didn't expect that to happen. But really, Magic Man stage isn't that tough. Any way you slice it, there's only a couple areas that are really that difficult, and as long as you take them quickly, there's not much that's going to scare you that much. <sighs> However, I did Magic Man last in the set of eight I'd recorded for the first board, because the Robot Master I haven't shown you in this set of eight was taking me so long and frustrating me so much, I needed a nice, relaxing stage to kind of take a break from all of that. The one I'm showing you next time is going to be a real son of a bitch. And if you guys like difficult robot masters, then I would say keep tuned. You are going to experience a real, real challenge to Perfect Run. So, for those of you who like outtakes, and me being very disappointed, stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Enjoy the trophies!